begin by drawing our standard issue parent function cosine, right? That starts at a maximum of one. It goes uh, pi over two, zero, pi over two minimum, pi over two, zero, pi over two max. Same, same. Boom, 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 boom. Now, multiplying by four, let me change colors. We're just going to make the magnitude four. So instead of starting at one, we're going to start at four. And the intercepts will be at the same spot, right? After 90 degrees, we're at a zero. 90 degrees, we're down at a minimum. 90 degrees, we're back up at a zero. Another 90 degrees, boom. Pardon my swerve, but you get the picture. Whoop. Not too shabby. Now, phase shift pi over three. So what I would do, right, each one of these is pi over two. Uh, phase shift being plus, that means we're going to go uh, to the left. It's kind of counterintuitive, but true story. Uh, this is pi right here, right? It's two pi over twos. Here's negative pi over two, negative pi. If I just slice that into thirds, right, which looks something like this here, boom, boom. I don't know if I did that too good, but uh, whatever. Eyeball it. So one of these is pi over three. So um, my new maximum, instead of being here on the y-axis, is going to be over by pi over three. So boom, that's going to be my new maximum here. And uh, this zero was here. It's going to be shifted over by pi over three. Ooh, that is challenging, isn't it? Because this is at pi over two. It's going to go a third of a pi, which is like here. Ugh. Maybe I should do a different color. Let's get magenta with it. Boom. And then we're going to take this and slide it over by pi over three. Take this, slide it over by pi over three. And this guy over pi over three. Right, I'm, I'm super eyeballing it. Right, but we're just, we're doing this phase shift. We're doing it. Oh, yeah, buddy. Woo, there's a phase shift. Have a nice day.